Uh, good evening, Mayor, and ladies and gentlemen of the City Council. My name is Brent Allen from Sunny Isles Beach. Uh, I'm with South Florida News, and our website can be found at www.federaljack.com. Before I begin, I have movies, DVDs, discs that have in them all the facts and all the evidence that I am about to report to you tonight. I also have documented reports from various experts and news agencies that I will be giving to the mayor who is responsible for the safety of North Miami Beach citizens. Uh, I came across this article a couple of weeks back. The Environmental Protection Agency scientists, EPA scientists and workers, call for an end to water fluoridation because of cancer risk. EPA unions call for a nationwide moratorium on fluoridation, congressional hearing on adverse effects, <coughs> youth cancer cover-up. Washington, D.C., August 30, 2005, 11 EPA employee unions representing over 7,000 environmental and public health professionals of the civil service have called for a moratorium on drinking water fluoridation programs across the country. The union sent letters to key congressional committees asking Congress to legislate a moratorium pending a review of all the science of the risk of fluoridation. The letter cited weight of evidence supporting the classification of fluoride as a likely human carcinogen, which includes other epidemiology results similar to those in the Harvard study. The unions acted following revelations of a apparent cover-up evidence from Harvard School of Dental Medicine linking fluoridation with elevated risk of fatal bone cancer in the elderly and young boys. This is from the actual union website that I'm about to read to you. I would appreciate if you could just give me a couple of minutes extra. Sorry, sir. Why EPA Headquarters Union of Science Opposed Fluoridation? The following documents why our union, formerly National Federal and Federal Employees Local 2050, and since April 1998, Chapter 280 of the National Treasury Employee Union, took a stand in opposing fluoridation of drinking water supplies. The union first became interested in this issue rather by accident. Like most Americans, including many physicians and dentists, most of our members had thought that the fluoride only affects beneficial reductions in tooth decay. We too believed assurances of safety, effectiveness, effectiveness of water fluoridation. Then as EPA was engaged in revising its drinking water standard, an employee came to union with a complaint. He said that he had been forced to write the regulation, a statement to affect the EPA thought it was all right for children to have funky teeth. Basically, this is all a lie about fluoridation. I, don't, I have tons of documents here. And my last statement here is for you gentlemen. Attention, attention city, council, city of North Miami Beach Council. You are now on notice that poison is being put in the water. Uranium, radium, lead, arsenic, mercury, and sodium fluoride. All of these things have immediate, immediately been poisonous and bad. You are now on notice. I am going to sue the city one month from today. If you don't, read these documents and do a review and respond. Thank you very much. And I have movies here for all of you. You need to review this because I'm deadly serious. And I'm going to move forward to the clerk. on this issue. And please, please, this is serious business. If all the scientists are saying this stuff is poison, we've been hoodwinked on this issue. And here's the movies. Please review. I'll see you in a month. You, sir, you're, you're with a news agency? Is that what yeah, you said? South Florida News. Federaljack.com is the website. Thank you. We're an alternative news organization. Thank you very much. Thank you. Obviously, um, if we could, you're going to take a look at it and give us a report, please. Thank you. <coughs> okay. Kat Lee